What's up guys, it's Coach Seth, and for today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to watch game film like a pro. So first off, I'm gonna be talking about how exactly to watch game film and the things that you need to do to watch game film. But later on in the video, I'm gonna give you a couple examples of how you need to do it with my game film. So make sure you stay tuned towards the end of the video. So the very first thing you need to do is obviously get your hands on the disc. Just make sure to talk to your coach about it and he should be able to work something out for you. And make sure to get as many as you can, if not all of them. All of them might not be available, but you're gonna need more than one or two. You're gonna need as many as you can get. The school should be taking care of the filming and getting the game films ready for game film sessions for your team. So it shouldn't be too much trouble to get copies. So just keep bugging your coach about it and that should get the job done. So next we're gonna talk about once you actually have the disc. Basically, the more games that you watch, the better. And make sure you don't just casually watch the game. Don't be like, oh, watch me cross this guy over right here or watch this three I just made. Remember that this is study time. So make sure to take it serious. Make sure to keep your remote close because you will need to pause and rewind constantly. And another thing is don't dwell on the things that you do right. Instead, pay attention to the things that you do wrong and figure out what you could have done better on that play. So just be aware that your brain is kind of like a muscle. And let me give you an example of basketball. Pretty much everything you do in basketball is all muscle memory. Shooting is all muscle memory. So the more you practice shooting, the better you get typically. And that's the same thing with your brain. The more your brain sees what you could have done better, the more it adapts. So repetition is key. Did you see something you do wrong? Don't be like, oh gosh, I don't wanna see that. No, pause it, rewind, watch it again. Pause it, rewind, watch it again. Seeing this over and over is going to be huge and it's going to help you adapt much faster and much easier. So I wanna give you a couple examples of what I think you should be doing whenever you watch your game films. So we're gonna go through a couple of bad plays that I made back in high school, just to kind of walk you through it, to help guide you of what you should be doing. So let's get into that. All right, so I hope you guys can see enough to kind of tell what's going on here. So my team is in the red. We're in kind of like a 1-3-1 one, one defense right here, and I'm playing all the way back. So I'm just gonna play this through one time and then I'll rewind and kind of just show you where I, what I did wrong. All right, you may have been able to tell right there, but let's just break it down. So let's bring it forward. And I'm gonna pause it right there. So I'm way back here. So right in this position, um, I had the right idea of going out, but I'm gonna go forward just a little bit here. But if there's somebody right here in this position, I am up too far. Where I need to be is probably just one step back, right about in here. And that one step makes a big difference. I think in my mind, I just didn't see this person. So I was kind of going out, shading out right here, just to kind of keep this guy from coming baseline. But if there's somebody right here, I needed to shade back just a little bit here. It's gonna go in slow motion here because once they throw it to him and he catches it, I'm out of position and I cannot recover fast enough by the time he catches it. See, if I'd have been one step right here, I would have been able to recover and probably close off that baseline right here. But since I'm one step out of position, that's all it takes sometimes. And he has me beat and it cost us two points. Okay. And you might think that that's just one mistake and that happens. And yes, this does happen. But watching these type of things over and over can lessen the chance of something like this happen. And yes, you are going to make mistakes in games. But the whole idea and the whole key of watching and breaking down your game films is to basically cut down the amount of times that you do make these mistakes. So let's go ahead and break down another play that I did wrong in this game. And this time we're playing man-to-man -man defense. And for right now, the ball is right here. And I'm right about in here. Uh, let's just go ahead and play it a little bit. 
So my man has the ball right here, and this is me. And I'm kind of playing off of him just because I, I kind of know that he's not really a shooter. So that's what I'm doing right here. But I'm just going to play this through, and then I'll bring it back and walk you through it. All right, let's go through what I did wrong. So he catches it right here. I'm laying off of him. That I don't think that's a bad thing right here. So they pass it down low, and look what I did. I completely leave my man with my eyes. What I do isn't necessarily bad. You cannot not know where your man is. So I completely leave my eyes, and then he made a good cut to the basket, and they got a good play out of it. They didn't get two points, but they're a really good free throw shooting team, so they, they probably made both the free throws there. But let's rewind that again. So what I should have done right here is do the same thing, but not turn my head all the way. That just little things like that make a huge difference. So I was trying to basically put a little bit of pressure on the guy down low because they thought they had a mismatch. That's why I was shading down a little bit, which is the right thing to do in that situation. But once again, I just can't leave my eyes from my man. Now that can be a good tactic. That's basically a double, but that's more of a team thing. You can't just have that in your mind and you double. If your whole team is not on the same page with that, it's not gonna work. Somebody's gonna be wide open. But as a team, if you plan on doubling somebody, and in that case, the whole team would shift and then things would work out a lot better. play it through one more time this is, this is what it takes guys repetition so I hope this was helpful guys and I hope you enjoyed my game analysis and kind of critiquing my own game which you have to be the critic whenever you're trying to get better critique your mistakes but don't dwell on them so much that it's just going to be a negative impact. Basically, just figure out what you can do to limit those mistakes. And in the end, it's just all about getting better and all about making better decisions. So if you are wanting to better your game or increase your overall performance, make sure you subscribe so I can help you get to that next level. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.